All right, with us, Minnesota State student athletes, Zach Stepan, Johnny McGinnis, Cole Huggins, head coach Mike Hastings. Gentlemen, thank you for an extremely hard fought game. Coach, uh, if you would, a, a quick statement, and then we'll have stu uh, questions for the student athletes. Uh, first of all, on, on behalf of our, our team, uh, the university, uh, the city of Mankato, uh, we'd, we'd like to congratulate uh, UMass Lowell on moving on to compete against uh, BC tomorrow. It should be an unbelievable uh, final in the regional. Um, uh, really no regrets other than not moving on. I thought the guys laid it out there. Uh, we knew he was going to be good, and he was good. I think we had some second and third opportunities that uh, that he did a good job of of keeping out of the net. And uh, so, other than that, you know, the idea of, of saying goodbye to four seniors very difficult for our staff and and the and the guys in the locker room, uh, just because this group's done a real good job of what I would consider becoming a second family. Uh, so uh, we were impressed with how the regional was ran and how we were taken care of. Uh, so from all of us, we'd like to say thanks for that. Thank you, Coach. Uh, questions for the student athletes now, and we'll have microphones coming to you. We'll go up, up front here, and then the second row will be next. Cole, this is Dave Hendrickson, U.S. College Hockey Online. Can you, first of all, give you a view of the shorthanded goal, and also if you can just talk about kind of the, the matchup against Hellebuck? Uh, yeah, the, the shorthand goal, I mean, I've kind of had problems with five hole all year, I guess. The guys score on me there all the time, but uh, I mean, it was a good goal, and yeah, there's a lot of speed with him. And the matchup, though, he was, I mean, it was like a classic goalie battle, I guess. And um, I mean, he made a lot of good saves. There's a couple posts both ways, and that could have gone either way, too. But I mean, uh, he played out of his head. Shane, please. Shane Frederick from the Mankato Free Press, uh, both for Johnny and for Zach. Just talk about what you saw out there from, you know, from a chances that you guys had, um, both you guys and the team, and, and how difficult that was. Yeah, um, defensively, they were, um, they were hunting us down from, you know, their back check. They back check with a lot of pressure, so you got to make quick decisions, and I think that's their game plan is taking time and space away. Anytime you can do that, you kind of that's, that's good defense. That's exactly what you want to do. So they did a good job of that. There's a reason they've given up one goal in their last three games and big games like this. Um, so yeah, they just make it tough on you to get pucks, quality shots to the net. They do a good job of clearing the net for, and obviously they got one of the best goalies in the country, so that helps as well. Um, I agree with Johnny on all that. I mean, he said he basically summed it up there, but. Um, that's pretty much as classic of a playoff hockey game as you can get. Post both ways, big saves from both goalies, and you know it ended up all coming down to an open net. And so, I mean, like Coach said, we have no regrets, and that's just how it ended. Back up front, please. Zach and Johnny, can you just talk about what Cole has meant to the team emerging as a freshman to do what he's done for you guys? Um, I think for him, the biggest thing is, you know, it's hard to step in as a freshman and do what he's done. Um, but I think his mentality has helped him with that in the long run, especially because he's just such a calm kid. And uh, knowing how calm he is and how mentally strong he is back there, it helps us become a more aggressive team, knowing that we got him to back us up. And uh, I know it's been plenty of times this year where he's bailed us out big time on breakaways like that. And um, he's probably the biggest reason why we've come to where we are. So uh, obviously, we love him for it. And it's glad to have him back next year. Yeah, um, this time of the year, you don't win without good goaltending. Uh, since January, I think it was the 31st, um, he's backboned our, the run that we were on. Um, and even tonight, he gave us a chance. After they scored, they still had chances to score. And he made saves that he needed to make. And again, some that he shouldn't have. Um, and that's just what he's done all year. And he's been so calm about it. Um, when he makes a good save, he doesn't get too high. When he lets in a goal, he doesn't get too low. He stays even keel. And that's a common present you need on a hockey team. Um, so he does a really good job of that. Right back here, please. Fourth row. Johnny, in your time at Mankato, how have you seen the program change since Coach Hastings came in? And where do you think it's going in these next few years? Um, the change is uh, everything. <laughs> um, 
it's been unbelievable the last two years compared to the first two is almost like night and day. Um, he came in with a plan, uh, made us believe that we were a good hockey team from day one. He stepped in and he told us we were going to go places we'd never been before. And he believed in us and made us believe in ourselves. And without believing in yourself, you're not going to get to this spot or anywhere. So um, from that standpoint, uh, we owe a lot to him as a program. Um, and as far as it's going, um, I mean, one of the first things I said when I got in the locker room is don't forget how tonight feels. Um, I know firsthand the Frozen Four is back here next year, and I, I'm not kidding when I say that it's, it's a, these guys have a legitimate shot of getting there. Um, with the firepower and the goaltending, they bring it back. Um, and like I've been talking about our coach, um, there's no reason why they shouldn't. Any other questions for the student athletes? Yep, right up here. Oh, exactly. well, let's get you a mic. Do we have a mic for him? Hi, Rich Thompson, Boston Herald. Zach, I came in late. Uh, just talk about the relentless effort in that final minute. Um, we've kind of been a team that has been able to pick it up in the third period. I think we it was a hard-fought game all the way through. Um, but just how closely bound our team is, and again, how coaches just made us believe that we could win hockey games. It just, you know, we play the full 60 and see where we come out at the end of the day. And that goalie played outstanding, and it took him three, almost four games, I think it is, where he hasn't let in a goal until the last 45 seconds of the game or whatever it was, or you know, and um, he made saves that he shouldn't have as well as ours, so it's just kind of one of those things where um, they're, they got a good shot with the goaltending they have as well. Okay, right here, second. Andy Merritt from the New England Hockey Journal. Johnny, can you just talk about the, the frustration level when you're playing a team like that, the, the defense, the back checking you talked about, and then you get to the goaltender who doesn't let in much. How do you deal with that level of frustration when it's just so hard to generate offense? Um, it's a game of mental toughness. Um, it really is a battle. Um, it's hard to keep everybody on the same page and being relentless in your attack and your game plan. You've got to believe that you know if you keep, stick to your game plan, um, that you're going to break through eventually. It took us three periods and <laughs> nine minutes and what was it, 44 seconds. Um, but we didn't give up. And that's what I'm proud about our guys tonight. We didn't give up. We have no regrets coming out of here. Um, we did. We laid it out all in line for 60 minutes. And unfortunately, we came up short. So it is very frustrating, I can tell you that. <laughs> Any last question for the student athletes? OK, thank you, gentlemen.